Hey, hey, this is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 23rd of February. James Spann here. Very interesting weather in the days ahead. Getting colder, getting unsettled. Series of waves on the board, and they're really interesting. So let's get right to it. And boy, that is nice. That's the uh, sunset. Captured that uh, yesterday, right at the end of the 5 o'clock news. And you can see we're just getting at that time of the year where the sun is about to go over down over land now. As we get deeper into the uh, year, uh, the sun goes over the water around Christmas time, December, January. But uh, you can tell the days are definitely getting longer and the sun angle is improving. Well, this morning up at Cheha State Park, they're in the clouds. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking back over toward Bryant-Denny Stadium. The sky cloudy there. And from Clanton, it's cloudy and cool, but not too cold. Here's a water vapor satellite shot. New system coming into Texas, producing some interesting weather for our friends out there in the Lone Star State. And again, around here, temperature's not too bad. Mostly low 40s around here. Birmingham at 41. And with clouds around today, temperature's probably not rising all that much. Uh, we figure we'll be in the uh, uh, low 50s for the high today. And that is about 10 degrees below average. Keep in mind, we should be close to 60 this time of the year. In fact, 60 is our average high. Watch warning map. Yeah, buddy. Everybody looking at Texas today. Winter storm warnings up for the Texas Hill Country. Uh, cities like Austin and Waco. A winter weather advisory for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, where they are expecting uh, one to two inches of snow. And there's a look at the uh, precipitation out there in the... Uh, Big state, and you can see how uh, it's beginning to develop nicely. It'll be interesting to see who gets how much snow along that Interstate 35 corridor later today. Here's the overall QPF, precipitation around the nation for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting barely enough to measure here, and that could be right. The first two waves could miss us to the south. The third one, early next week, is going to be the one to watch, I think. Let's take a look. This is at noon today, coming off the 06 GFS at 500 millibars. And you can see the uh, energy digging down through West Texas, down below that. Uh, nice snow event for our friends in Texas today. This is suggesting the heavier snow would be south of Dallas-Fort Worth, really down toward uh, College Station and places like that. Our friends at Texas A&M will have a good time with that. We'll go to uh, tonight at midnight, kind of go down to the higher resolution look, and you can see why we have mentioned a chance of sprinkles or flurries late tonight or early tomorrow. The uh, freeze line at uh, 850, at the blue line, sometimes can be a decent rain-snow line, and it's near Montgomery. But everything up here would be very light, so not much to that. Here's a look at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that would suggest a chance of snow flurries, and that's what we have in our forecast. So I think we're on track, just sprinkles or flurries late tonight or tomorrow morning. You might see a snowflake early in the morning, no doubt about that. And then at noon, the heaviest action down to the southeast. And look at that. That's almost suggesting the chance of some accumulating snow in places like Troy, Eufaula, and Andalusia. Maybe even Ozark or Dothan. That'll be fun to watch. I, I think it will be just a little too warm in the extreme low levels for that down there. But it's a close call. But uh, whatever, it's going to be kind of a cloudy and colder day tomorrow. Uh, significantly colder than today. All right, Thursday, that wave is gone. And look at the potential for a big blizzard for New York City and Atlantic City. Wow, that is a bomb up there. But around here, Thursday should be cold and dry. Friday, yep, here comes our next energy. You can see that Vortmax around Houston down at the surface. Look at that. The GFS all of a sudden is a little wetter and farther north here. Uh, that's suggesting rain over at South Mississippi and maybe some snow for the uh, far northern part of that state. And look at Friday night at uh, midnight. Surface low near Dothan with a chance of snow for North Alabama and rain from Birmingham south. And then Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, the whole thing begins to wind down. Now, let me just say this run is an outlier. Let me show you the European. It's got everything way suppressed to the south. And the GFS, quite frankly, has looked like that on most runs. So, you know, for, for now, we're not going to buy into the idea of a significant snow event here Friday night. We'll kind of roll with the European, which keeps everything south. But you know our deal. We like to take them one at a time. we got to get this thing out of here 
tonight and tomorrow morning, then we can focus on that. But for the moment, we're not going to jump on the GFS solution that looks kind of snowy. And then Saturday at noon, that moves on to the east. Saturday looks like a cold, blustery, cloudyish day. All right, Sunday. Yep, here comes the next one. I'm telling you, it's, it's the wave trail. We ought to name these things. Um, we'll, maybe we'll do that in the blog. Uh, Sunday at midday looks a little warmer here as the thickness values go up. That would suggest we see highs up in the 50s. But let's just jump on to Monday, and uh, uh, this is uh, Monday evening at 6 o'clock. A surface low in the eastern Gulf. The potential rain snow line near Montgomery and uh, potential there for, what, three to five inches of snow here. Now, come on. You know, if, if we take them one at a time, we don't even want to go here, jump all the way out there to this one. But uh, there has been very good consistency in this idea. And there's a look at uh, Monday night at midnight, surface low near Tampa Bay. The thing begins to wind down. And then uh, Tuesday of next week, it's gone. So three waves on the way. Of course, there's more than that, but the, the, the next three are the ones to watch, and it just might be that one early next week could indeed bring significant snow to parts of the Deep South in early March, uh, March 1st or March 2nd. And does the wave train stop? No. How about March 8th? Um, look at that deal. How about a tornado outbreak, you know? So so we, we've got the snow idea on the board, and now deeper into March, uh, uh, that looks like a major severe weather threat. And of course, this is pure voodoo out here, but that would suggest severe weather here, a major snowstorm and blizzard across the Plain States. And then on March 10th, we turn awfully cold with a major late-season cold snap. So uh, you can see uh, we certainly don't have boring weather to talk about, that's for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.